Hello, how's it? Happy, blessed and peaceful Sunday. I'm going to try again <laughs> at uh, making another video on this section here. There's been hours before this, however, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, just, it's okay. Technology, I'm not so savvy. You know, I can admit that, but uh, yes, I would have loved to share <laughs> the previous hours of um, uh, videos and sort of riffing and etc. Whatever that I made here, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, and I have gone through some frustration, and I think also it's helped me process some other things. But I do still want to feel like I've actually progressed in this process that I'm doing, this process or project, whatever. So hopefully this time I can make something. <laughs> oh, okay, that will that will be like, yes, okay, I'll work with you. I will just, you know, and then technology is like, just doesn't want to, you know, um, annoy me and I can then post something. <laughs> Okay, so just carrying on with The Artist's Way, that's by Julia Cameron, it's a book that we've been going through. The last time, I mean, to be honest, I can't even remember, there's so much like stuff in between now, but I think, I believe that of what was posted online, um, it was a piece or parts, but not the complete uh, part of this section, which is mystery, and the one that was before this was... Uh, trusting and those two fall under like the last section which is like chapter 12 or whatever not that I've been going by chapters anyhow and that is basically recovering a sense of faith and um, I wouldn't say that I'm st I've been stuck here I mean it's really been fascinating it's amazing what God can do and what, what he can show you and how he can inspire you without you even knowing it and then you realize sort of afterwards and yeah, you know, it just so happens to be with that with some of that, um, I was trying to make a recording video to post as, you know, as, as because why? Why? Because I don't like to leave things incomplete. And, um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, what can I do but try again? And uh, I like that because, you know what, um, I don't mind if... I need to practice endurance with something. Maybe it's, this is the reason why. And also, I appreciate that inside me, I I don't really have much gravitational pull towards like thinking, ah, whatever, you know, like I just give up on this because I don't want to have anything close to that attitude. So, uh, you know, praise the Lord, you know, he's helping me practice patience, all these things, and much, much more. I mean, there's been lots of discoveries here, at least for me, and, um, yeah, it's been cool, and uh, I do stand by what I say when I say giving up is not an option, um, and uh, to never give up, and so it's like, and, it, you know, depending on the context, but if, it, if it's something simple that maybe it seems trivial, but it, you know, if you're going through a trial or whatever, and this kind of thing is something that when you keep trying or you keep going at it or you keep on holding on, it's like, or you, you keep being brought to the thing or the, the source or whatever um, again and again, and it is basically um, also of the quality that aligns with life and helping you to endure or build endurance or at least know inside of you that there is good that that God is good and his goodness is also inside of you and um, so it's like no matter what you feel or you're going through God is with you um, through it all and it's really nice to be able to come to um, moments or places or you know take your pick of whatever that word you want to use but it's it's really nice to sort of have a type of intimacy there where you kind of feel a, a little bit more elevated or at least separated a bit more from all this weight or pressure that you feel or that you may be 
that may be taking up your mind and, and uh, making you not feel so lucky or tiring you out. And I just want to say that your refuge, your rest, the true rest and where you can get restoration and all the things you need basically. Even if you don't even know what you need, even if you just, all of you, it's like you just don't know. It's like, um, you know, God is love. He is love. It's 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 a part of who he is. He is love. That's why when you hear the phrase love is king, it's just like God is king. And um, love is like the ultimate. And if you think of like the kingdom, Matthew 6 verse 33, seek the kingdom first and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. There's awesome studies going on. Again, I'll, that's just a really key scripture. I love Matthew. The whole, it's just it's really awesome. It's a great time to explore that space um <laughs> there's a lot there it just keeps on giving it is of love you know like um the foundation of faith is love like like from love faith can grow that's where you you know your your faith seed that you plant in the, the foundation of love and then that you, within that that faith seed can become like rooted and grounded i mean gosh now i'm like thinking of all kinds of different scriptures but i mean even if i don't you know like spiral out all the scriptures now on top of one another it's like still in life that is very very true it's like you can't change that it's as per design like of if like thousands of i don't take your pick how many years it's like we can't there's certain things that you can't change and that is like so so awesome because it's like yeah there is hope everywhere there are those things is that are in between everything or in everything where it's like those are anchors that can anchor your soul if you you know it's like wow you have a soul you know um, and despite what you think of yourself, no, 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 God still is the one that can love you, that can get you to where, to a better place where you don't have to be miserable, um, and it's okay to want to, to say, hi up, can I let you in, can I, can you please help me, I need you, I need your help, and, um, you know, you are just made with love there, and it's okay to it's okay to admit that. Previously, before, recently, whatever, there's you know it talks about surrender, and um, and it, it, it's more something that you've got to go and like understand yourself. It's sure. I mean, if you want to go discuss something like that, it's okay. But it's not that. It, it, that is something that it's not just a topic for discussion it really is way more than that and um so yeah but it's cool to read about it, it you know and just good things get um triggered and things like that or at least for me um and i love i still love that quote that um the creative process is a process of surrender and not control and that just rings true and for me it like that's just something that's like phew, spirals and then goes like it just almost like goes boom into like a cosmos 4d type of realm and that just then makes me like like sort of not go on autopilot but it's like it just sort of like moves me in the places where my fleshly level stuff like isn't or and can't dominate because it's like the like it's like from the soul and the soul wanting to um, prosper or the soul sort of following or and then in my inner being my spirit man it's like that uh, what can i say me in my limited human brain cannot overpower that um or at least in at this time and if i think that i want to do that or i fall into the trap of believing that i can do that and then i do that then Lord have mercy, and uh, I can still in those places call for call for Him and still have hope and faith and still apply that. But anyway, it's a great thing that God is love, and <laughs> His love is so big and expansive. And it's like once you know it, once you can feel it, once that when you it's like 
So I mean, I posted something early on the on, on my page, um, along with a link, because there was a message this morning that was out of this world. It was just so good, and I'm definitely going to go back to to that again and again. Um, and uh, yeah, it's that's got a lot of stuff in it. I mean, it basically contains. I mean, I can't even say. It's just there's so much. It's one of those like keeps on giving kind of um, messages, word, whatever. It's like I, I definitely heard a word <laughs> that was useful for me. And um, and yeah, I mean, it's really nice to talk about love. Love, love. You know what I mean? Love and, and to love each other with the type of love that is of the of God's love, that top quality love. There's no better love than the love of God. I'm telling you now, really, um, really, really. Sorry, that was a, a bug. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Um, so I believe that I think yeah where I left whatever off was in the halfway place of this part mystery, but I'm just gonna go from from the top down again. Um, so yeah, let's go. Creativity, like human life itself, begins in darkness. We need to acknowledge this. All too often, we we think only in terms of light, and then the light bulb went on, and I got it. It is true that insights may come to us as flashes. It is true that some of these flashes may also be blinding. It is, however, also true that such bright ideas are preceded by a gestation period that is interior, murky, and completely necessary. Uh, we speak often about ideas as brain children. What we don't realize is that brain, like, oh, is that brain children, like all babies, should not be dragged from the creative womb prematurely. Praise the Lord. Ideas like stalactites and stalagmites form in the dark inner cave of our consciousness. And that is where God is. And you can read up on philosophers, but really you can upgrade from there. Much better. Yes. <laughs> we must learn to wait for an idea to hatch. To use a gardening image, we must learn not to pull our ideas up by the roots to see if they are growing. Smiling on the page is an artless art form. It is fooling around. It is doodling. It is the way that ideas slowly take shape and form until they are ready to help us see the light. I mean, it's, uh, that's what I'm saying. There's always something, somewhere. It's, you have already got something that that you need or that you can use that can help you <laughs> see the light like i'm serious <laughs> there's so many ways god's really cool that way he's really like sometimes i like to say like he's really nice like and that for me i don't know for me that's a really big compliment like it's nice when when you feel nice also when when you feel uh, like Oh, that's so nice. It's the niceness. <laughs> or like, is sweet. Or just like, he just knows you. Like, or he knows me. Or like, sometimes I just feel special. Why you just get that feeling of, like, oh, that's nice. And I'm open to other like humans also. You know, I would love. I would love to make another human feel like that. And. Um, but uh, lately, you know, for me, I'm just like praising the Lord because it's like, wow, you know, um, I have not given up uh, hope, not on me, not on him, not on anyone else, and not on life as well. And that is a reason to say hallelujah, because I'm not even going to go into all the things that I could have used as reasons as to, and, to, and what is it? I can't even say it. Praise the Lord. The anti whatever of that. No thanks. No thanks. Mm -mm. And uh, to think only a couple of years ago did I first have that meeting, you know, like with 
like for like a bit of words. The first time that encounter meeting, and then I, um, I, I decided to um, do that salvation prayer and, and and to choose life or to give my life over to to God. Um, and I didn't even understand all that. I really, really didn't. I didn't understand everything that it entailed. I didn't really know much at all. I mean, like again, I'll just say like I, in that moment. I mean, all I didn't have the cognitive capacity of even anything and it was weird in the way like it was like God like took me up and showed me and then he like it's like he raises you he lifts you I mean he does really he can really get in there into your imagination and into your soul into your consciousness and he can show you the way um, and I mean, it's really nice to know that there is a God that's so much greater than me, you, and all of us combined. That we can all share <laughs> and delight in that love, and we can all tap into that source, and we can learn His love, and we can learn learn how He loves us, and we can then learn how we can love with like like how He loves us, and then with that knowledge, you can then be able to love others as you do yourself. And the best place to learn it. So I'm just, yeah, come on, <laughs> okay. Um, it's just the love of God. I mean, I just, I, I know it's like nothing that I'm saying now is adequate. I really, and I have a lot to work on. Seriously, I really, really do. And I don't want to be a person that's ever like all talk no action. But I mean, in this, you know, technology, <laughs> technology, technological space. I'm not too savvy, but like I do th know that there is some, there is a need, and there are people that can still. I mean, like I praise God for technology. Um, you know, I He is, I you know I don't the way that I see I don't praise technology for techno. You know what I mean? Um, and if you don't, um, please comment, then I will can talk, but um. Yeah, for me it's like, and the reason why I do that is because, like, I need his safety and security and presence the whole time, um, because, you know, there are spaces on, you know, within technology or the net or whatever, that um, one needs to be aware of or careful of, just those kinds of things, as with everything in life, but there's a lot of places where it's like, you really don't know and you don't really know how to navigate and so yeah and also I I, I can't help but say like um, God is top he is like nothing is greater than him so for me it's like what whatever it is even if like a bug flies here and that might, then maybe that's, you're not going to see an outside of me, but that might be just a reaction. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a silly example, but I don't want to use a, a really a nice example. Um, but um, just an unpleasant event like there, or it flies onto some way, whatever. Um, it's like, okay, um, even if that happens, I still praise God. And at some point, I, I'd love to go into that again. I still praise God. I don't, even if I have a little human tantrum, I will still go to God and say, "Here yeah, I am. I'm a mess. I'm a, I'm grumpy also. I'm so like I'm grumpy. I would like this help, you know, but I won't stop there and then decide to go and like put my energy or stuff into into other stuff. And also for me, it's like. I don't even want to be close to falling into some kind of delusional trap of where I forget about God, which is not not going to happen. But it's like, I put God, for, He is first and above. It's like, I don't praise technology. Te the, what is that? No, 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 no. He's, he is the one who is in ultimate control. It's like, so he's defeat technology, no matter what you think or encounter through technology, you still need him. He, you know, because imagine if that's all, if technology and the phones and whatever is all taken away from you. And then, 
then still, then still, God is the one that you go to. He is the ultimate source. So it's like, then if, if all technology is taken away from you, what are you going to pray? So you're still going to try and like praise technology? No, it's gone. It's gone. And who is always there? Who stays there? Who comes and searches you out to, to, to get you because he loves you so much and he wants a relationship with you? It is God. It is God. And um, it's amazing. And I don't want to like rush through all this. I guess I do hear a little bit of a rush in my voice. But I want to, oh, I want to do so many things right now. I just want to hug you. Maybe you all need to hug. Everybody needs a hug. Even me. Um, I also feel excited. Also, you know, I love the good news. And I love to have good news. And I like to be able to say in all truth that God is good. And he's going, it's just again and again. Like, it's, it's hectic. And I'm just like, wow. It's amazing. It's amazing how he can bless a person. And for me, it's like the contrast of where I was. And, um... And I've only, I think, it's only in a couple of years and before that, like for most of my life, been just what nobody's life should ever be. What, what, what needs to be eradicated. Like what, what ultimately needs to be met with love. And that is why, for the bigger purpose, for the reason that I, like, I understand that there are a lot of people that don't, haven't yet, tasted that love you know um, because I was there and it's like well well what now what must I do <laughs> stay away from them <laughs> no if, if if the whole of you know and it's like but I mean what can I say I don't know but I know the one who knows and I want to know what he would like or what he can tell me where to go or who who to help or and what to do because I would love to I really would love to help to make that introduction to somebody else who doesn't yet know him and needs to know him because they don't know him and that's still gonna happen and yeah, I mean, I would love to be a part of just God using me for that. But, you know, I can also, there's lots of positions I can take. There's lots of ways that that God can use me and that God can work through me. Um, and, yeah, but uh, my heart goes out to so many, so many people. Um, even sometimes it's sore, it's painful. And even with that, sometimes... Sometimes I have these days where I'm like, I just want to go out and do everything for everyone else. And, you know, uh, you know, yeah, I think last year, like, I was starting to get very strong convictions where it's like, yeah, yeah man, you got to work on you as well. you got to learn to love you or to, tr to tend to yourself because, you know, it's this whole thing, um, like like to the in the truest way and you can learn that you can grow in that again you can get to know more and if you if you understand that more and more then I think that it's it's almost like that almost comes just so naturally to you that it's you don't have to feel this is just my my, my theory that that you don't have to feel you must and you must go run around and try and get every that it's just you can be you and just the way that you are around other people it's like you don't have to force whatever it's just like you just have this understanding and love and yeah I mean that that's really really awesome and I guess yeah as well I agree with um, like trying to just keeping on to try and get your one's words aligned with um, your actions, um, especially, um, or not, maybe not especially, but like with 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 keeping in mind that um, that other people can see and listen to you or might encounter you, um, and like like for me, I want I want other people to know God's heart. So yeah, I mean in terms of working on me or, or, you know, 
growing in love and light and that kind of thing. It's hard for me to gauge. It really is hard for me to gauge. Um, like, I, me, or what? But I can definitely go to God and spend time with Him. And it's really been flipping amazing, I'm telling you now. It's really been amazing, lately especially. Um, powerful, powerful stuff. And, um, yeah, <laughs> Jesus wasn't like <laughs> being, wasn't, you know, just being, saying we need just, you will still have trials and tribulations. I could testify to that. And I want to add to that, that within <laughs> the trials and tribulations, you know, like, th like I've had the most intimate, incredible, amazing moments with my father God, with with the creator of the universe, with, so it's like, no worries Jesus, because thanks for saying that, I love that, praise God for that, because it's like, even then, and it's like, I don't know what it is about that, but it's like, that kind of stuff almost can bring you closer, <laughs> and that's awesome, and also I guess to get through those kinds of things, you need to be closer, because he's the one that's going to pull you through, especially when you can't hold on anymore, but you can just, when you know that you can reside in him and take refuge in him, he can take over, he can take you the rest of the way. Um, and that trust and learning how to surrender there and you can use this, you know, some of this and then obviously I do encourage um, you to pursue w the word and, and get to know more of that. And you know, like think of the of, uh, consciousness and the universe, like and think how far can it go, like it's like, well that's really nice, well what if you could tap into that, you know, like what about that, that's lacquer, that's cool, lacquer is a South African word, um, so when you hear that, uh, it's not a, um, a brain fart or something like that, it is an actual really great word, um, don't ask me to explain, it's, that's, that's the difficult part, <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyhow, a quote from Albert Einstein, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. That is a mysterious sentence. Theodore Rothke, what shakes the eye but the invisible? Mystery is at the heart of creativity. Boom, that's a cool, that's really just nice. That and surprise. All too often when we say we want to be creative, we mean that we want to be able to be productive. Now to be creative is to be productive, but by cooperating with the creative process, not forcing it. There you <laughs> Okay. As, cre <laughs> As creative channels, we need to trust. I want to actually put in a word, yeah? As creative channels, we need to trust God in the darkness. We need to learn to gently mull instead of churning away. You know, you don't have, what are you doing with burning a hole inside of yourself? No, man. Um, <laughs> like a little engine on a straight ahead path, this mulling on the page can be very threatening. Uh, you can have really, you know, horrible negative thoughts uh, that can make you really fret and worry. And, uh,. Yeah, um, so hatching an idea is a lot like baking bread. The, an idea needs to rise. If you poke at it too much in the beginning, if you keep checking on it, it will never rise. A loaf bread or of bread or a cake baking must stay for a good long time in the darkness and safety of the oven. Open that oven too soon and the, and the bread collapses or the cake gets like you know, punch a hole in the middle because all the steam rushed out. Creativity requires respectful reticence. The truth is, this is how to raise the best ideas. Let them grow in the dark and mystery. Let them form on the roof of our consciousness. Let them hit the page in droplets. Come on. Trusting the slow and seemingly random drip. We will be startled one day by the flash of, oh, that's it. And you might as well add in a hallelujah because God is good that way. Amen. Next coming up.
the imagination at play. Quite relevant, quite awesome, very, very awesome. I've got to go now, but I'll check you later.